YouTube, welcome to another episode of D-Ski Grills. Today we are doing an unboxing of the Bincho Grill. What is the Bincho Grill? It is a new style of cooking that has been around for thousands and thousands of years. When I say new style, new style to D-Ski Grills. Bincho Grill is made strictly for doing yakitori Japanese style cooking. So if you want to know the definition when you say yakitori, it's really easy. Yaki means grill and tori means chicken. Put it together, yakitori means grilled chicken. Now, when doing yakitori cook, it is no more than cutting up nice pieces of chicken, putting it on skewers and cooking it on the bincho grill. So what we're gonna do for this awesome unboxing is get this baby opened up. We're gonna see what it's all about. I'm also gonna show you the style of charcoal that is best used for awesome yakitori style cooking. And that is binchutan, okay? So binchutan is a wonderful charcoal that it's really hard. It's more dense than anything I've ever fooled with. I'll bring that in and let you see what it's all about as well. So you know what we'll do. I'll take you to the cutting board. I will take you step by step through this awesome new Bincho Grill. And in the future, we will be making wonderful yakitori style cooking on Diski Grills. I want to thank you as always for joining and let's get cooking. Okay, folks. So let's go ahead now and unbox the Bincho Grill. Now, I ordered this... I want to say about a week ago, so it took around six, seven days for it to get in. The weight of the box is around 20 pounds. Let's see if we can't get this thing opened up. It should probably, okay, definitely, definitely good packaging here. Go around this side. Okay, so let's see what we're greeted with. Okay, we have a foam type insulator to keep this thing, I guess, safe in shipping. Uh, this thing says Bincho Grill. Now, along with the grill, I purchased a few other items also. Okay, so we have a grill cover because I love keeping my grill safe when they're out there in the elements. Uh, we have bamboo paddle skewers. I ordered 200 of those. We have a 24 inch, which is steel rod bars, okay? I'll show you what that's all about in just a second. I also ordered two heavy grate 12 inch by six inch grates, okay? That's more for like if you want to sear off a steak. So you have a grate as opposed to just direct fire with the uh, skewers, all right? And last but not least, we have the Bincho Grill. So let's get it opened up. There's our foam. Okay, looks like what we're greeted with first is our two grill grates that I just described. So here they are. Okay, I'll move that to the side. Next, we have our rods. Okay, I'll show you how these are used. But these are the rods that you order separately. So I want to make sure I say that as well. These accessories is what I ordered um, as part of the Bincho Grill. The Bincho Grill comes just by itself. Okay, so we have two rods. All right, let's get this out the way. We have more foam. Hopefully you can see that. So great, great way of keeping this thing safe. I like that. I'll get more of the foam out the way. Okay, can I grab this thing like this? Maybe. Okay, looks like we have the Bincho Grill right here. All right, let me get this box out the way. Okay, so here's our Bincho Grill. Check it out. Now, the dimensions here, I'll get my tape measure, but I believe they're 24 inches by six inches is the size of this grill. Let's see. We'll go ahead and remove the plastic sleeve. Okay. So, more coverings here but let's do some measurements first, all right? So we'll start right here at the edge. We'll come to the end, 
and we have 24 inches, all right? So 24 inches is our length, and our width is dead on six inches. I'll come on this side, six inches. All right, so 24 by six. You see this is a nice tabletop size. Now, the idea behind yakitori cooking, this is an awesome way to have friends and family out making skewers, sitting up, just having a good time, maybe having a little wine or whatever it is you want to have. But just sit back, enjoy family and friends while you cook up your awesome own made skewers, okay? Now, as part of this, there is something also called tata, okay? That is a dipping sauce that you make. I'll show you how to do that in the future. Everything that I am showing you, I have learned from another YouTuber. One guy that I'm following since I'm trying to get into yakitori cooking is the yakitori guy. He um, shows all kinds of uh, different ways of cutting up your chicken, adding different uh, spices. Sake is one ingredient. Mirin is another ingredient. There's all kinds of things with soy sauces and sugars to make wonderful dipping sauces for your yakitori. So let's get this open. I told you guys that I ordered bamboo sticks. Here they are. Okay. These are the flat paddle style where you can actually grab and flip very easily while you're making your yakitori. Okay. We also have the grill cover I told you guys about. So here's one grill cover. I think what I'll do right now is just move it to the side and we'll put it all together at the end and show you how the uh, final product looks. Okay. Okay, so everything was packaged well. I'm very thankful for that. You know another thing that makes you happy is when there's no mess ups uh, in the shipping process. Now, the Bencho grill itself has a inner sleeve which makes it very easy for cleanup. So this is our inner sleeve. So when we have our charcoal and things like that at the end of the cook, we can easily get that out, disperse of that charcoal, and it keeps the outside of your grill really nice and clean. So this is our insert for the Bincho grill. More things to do. Let's get the rest of the stuff out of here. Looks like they also came with some moist napkins. Uh, I'm not sure what that's for. I'll read about it and let you guys know in future videos. I imagine this is for wiping the outside of your grill and making sure it stays nice with that beautiful stainless steel finish. All right, so let's show you what this baby is all about. First and foremost, you see we have vents. So these are very important when you're talking about regulating temperatures. All right, so you can open it up to get more airflow. So same type of method when it comes down to if you want a higher heat, you will open this up. If you want to close down and kind of tame that heat, you will adjust uh, accordingly, all right? We have beautiful stainless steel inside. Look at this. This thing is really, really nice. Uh, and we have labeling showing you the badging, which is the Bincho grill, all right? Now, what makes this cool is you can put this on a tabletop and not worry about damaging your table. That is because of the wood blocks you have on the bottom. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get this thing put back together really quick. All right, and what I wanna show you is the accessories put together and how this would work, okay? So let's do that really fast. This will be a mock-up of how we would use the Bincho grill. We'll start off first uh, simulating like we're cooking steak or something, salmon, fish, whatever you want to say. Let's do that first. We'll come with our 12 by 6 inch grates. Put it right there. Whatever protein you're cooking, it's right there, okay? No issues at all. You're just working on it outside while you're chilling out, enjoying the day, and you have this beautiful stainless steel Bincho grill doing the work for you, all right? So that is for when you're doing some searing or something of that nature, or vegetables, something that you don't want to fall through. These are the perfect grates, all right? So let's say we are truly making yakitori now. Here we go. Okay, so now we are simulating this for yakitori cooking. And we'll just put a bar right here. Our second bar here. And then our skewers, all right? So we are acting as if this thing is full of all kinds of chicken goodness with vegetables and different things on our skewers. And 
we are cooking just like this. Here's our paddle. They are engraved also with Bincho Grill, so they're pretty cool, all right? But let's look. We'll put our skewers in place. Whatever it is that we are cooking up, we have plenty of room. I'll just give you guys an example of what we can do here. As you can see, we can probably get 10 or 15 skewers on just at one time if that's what we wanted to do, okay? I'll just lay them out here. Okay, so here's an example of how you would set it up if you are making yakitori. So think about it again, folks. These bars will move out, so you can adjust these however you need. And all you're doing is cooking and you're flipping. You have the paddle, you're flipping your food, and you're able to get even cooking all the way through. Now what I want to do before closing out this video is I want to show you the unique Japanese style charcoal that's used for this. And again, the name of that is Binchi Tan, okay? Let me bring that in and show you that. But you can see what we have here, folks. We have an awesome way of grilling some wonderful yakitori. Fresh chicken chopped in small pieces using sake, different dips and sauces and things to just come out with an awesome Japanese final product, okay? So I'll move these really quick. And what we'll do is I'll show you the charcoal and then we'll close this video out. All right, folks, so I went outside to grab the charcoal. I bought the charcoal uh, from Amazon, so you can find it there. Binchitan charcoal is very, very expensive, okay? So this charcoal is actually 22 pounds. It's a 22 pound box. It will last you a long time because of the density of the charcoal, you'll get multiple cooks each time. And with the footprint of the Bincho grill, it doesn't take much charcoal to fire it up and do a nice cooking session, okay? So let me show you what this looks like. Right. So you can see what I'm talking about. Nice lump type charcoal, more dense than regular lump charcoal, all right? Definitely different than from what we're used to. There is versions of this that are a lot more expensive and they come in longer type pieces where you actually break them with a hammer, okay? But what you can see is the density. This has went through a curing process like no other, right? These are beautiful pieces of logs, okay? So I'm gonna move this to the side. Hopefully this will get us a lot of cooks before I have to buy it again. This box was a little over a hundred bucks uh, for this 22 pound uh, box. Okay, so I'll let you know how the usage is going. Hopefully we're not buying any more of this for quite some time. All right, and then what I want to do is close this out by putting the grill cover on and show you that. And the next time we get together, I'll be showing you awesome, awesome yakitori style cooks. Let me move this to the side. Okay, folks, so we will put on this grill cover and call it a day. Huh has the uh, Bincho Grill insignia on it. You can see that. Very cool. All right, let's see how this thing fits. It should be a pretty straightforward process. Just cover the grill. So that'll be it. <clears throat> it comes with a drawstring. It seems to be really good material. Okay, so this will keep that Bincho Grill protected. Uh, the plan for me is to keep this thing outside. I have a storage box that I can keep this in. Whenever I want to pull it out and do awesome yakitori style cooking, it will be available. So again, folks, this is the Bincho Grill. I am so excited to bring this style of cooking to the channel along with everything else we do. We are going to learn how to do wonderful yakitori cooking together. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let everyone know what Dishki Grills is up to. And as always, at Dishki Grills, Grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. Can't wait to do future cooks using the Bean Show Grill. I'm always thankful for you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.